In this tutorial, I will guide you through all the necessary steps to create a printed circuit board using the isolation routing method. Using a CNC machine or a CNC router, printed circuit boards can be made using PCB isolation routing. PCB isolation routing is a technique that removes copper material to separate or isolate copper fields to serve as wires or traces. In contrast to chemical etching, PCB isolation routing generally removes a minimal amount of copper only to separate the traces. To get started, we'll need to download two different types of programs. First, we will need to get a program to design the circuit schematic and design for the printed circuit board. This program is called Eagle. The second program is actually an add-on to PCB G-code by John Johnson. We will start by downloading the Eagle software developed by CADsoft. To find the application, Google CADsoft Eagle. Click on the link in the search results, CADsoft Online Eagle Layout Editor. The main Eagle page will appear. On this page you will see a freeware link. This link will take you to another page to download the freeware version of the program. Once on that page, scroll down to the download link and then select your platform. Eagle is a schematic and printed circuit board design software. Within the software you'll be able to create a schematic from a library of components. These components will be wired together and the printed circuit board can be designed from the schematic. Once the download is complete, execute the setup application and follow the on-screen instructions. Now we can download and install the PCB G-Code add-on for Eagle. The easiest way to find this application is to Google PCB G-Code. PCB G-Code. You'll find the link named PCB G-Code Forum with a PH. Click on that link to go to the website. On the PCB G-Code homepage, click on the software link in the folders list table. Click on the downloads link which will take you to a list of software versions of the application. Once you get to the page of the selected release, scroll down and click on the download link. The file will come in the form of a zip file. Unzip the file and copy the contents to the ULP folder under Eagle located within the program files folder. I performed this action with a with extra needless step by putting the files first in an intermediate location. Before we jump right into 
routing out a PCB, we need to create a circuit. Let's put a simple charge pump circuit together. This will get you familiar with the functionality of the Eagle application if you are not already. A charge pump is a circuit to provide safety for the unpredictable spindle or router starts during a computer startup. Start Eagle by going through the start menu. Create a new project and name it Charge Pump in the Eagle Control Panel by clicking File, New, Project. Change the name of the new project to whatever the circuit name will be. In this case, I will name this project Charge Pump. Click on the Charge Pump project with the right mouse button and select New and Schematic. A new schematic screen will appear. The first thing you will notice is a large white area and an extensive set of tools on the left hand side. The tools will allow you to move, copy, add components and nets to wire everything together and other tools for creating and modifying schematics. We will need to add many components and connect them together. We will start with the ground. To add a component click on the add part icon on the left. An add dialog box will appear. Use the search bar to look for ground GND. Double click the selection to add the component to the schematic screen. Continue adding components until all of the components are on the screen. While you are in this add part mode, you can insert as many on the sheet as you wish. The mode is similar to the move or copy mode where you can rotate the part by clicking the right mouse button. You can also zoom with the mouse scroll wheel. 